Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you'd like to learn how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell right next to it so you can get notified when I upload my next video. All right. So now this is Episode 2 of the Sunday Shave of the Day, which means... Down in the description, I have got a link there to episode one, how the shave began. All right. So we're continuing on though with my Wade and Butcher for gentlemen's use. Just a beautiful razor out of the mid 1800s. This is a 15 16 blade, barber's notch, and it is a wedge. Just, I mean, it's one of the most comfortable razors uh, I have, and I really enjoy it. And now for our shave soap, we're using Arco. All right, my good friend Carl Kiefer sent this to me to try. I'm really enjoying it. I actually just cut a sliver off the top and pressed it into the bottom of this bowl. All right, excellent, excellent soap. I understand why this was has been in the shaving den for a while. All right, and for my brush, I'm using my Omega 10,098. All right. Now, with this soap, in the description, I will have all of the ingredients in the scent profile there for you, along with links to, like that 30 degree strop back there, everything I've used in this shave, I'll go ahead and have links for your convenience so you can find it. All right. So now let's just get going. And as we go here, um, I want to remind you, that you know if you have questions and uh, suggestions and ideas for Friday specials uh, it you know if I can film it and put it on as a Friday special I'm going to go ahead and I would give you a shout out and I'll put a link in the description to your channel if you have videos uploaded as well so uh, just you know let me know let me know if you got some questions in, uh, and or ideas on some Friday specials, all right? Because Fridays, we normally do the first and third Friday of the month, we'll do uh, shave-related videos. So, got it, it has to do with shaving, but it's not necessarily going to be a shave. So that's normally where I answer the questions and things like that and do tutorials and how to's. I know I do a little bit of that while I'm shaving as well, but uh, you can't do it all. So I normally separate a lot of that stuff out and make uh, special videos just for that. All right, there we go. Nice. Okay. So now this is episode two of the Sunday Shave of the Day, which means this is a pass and a half. So I'm going to go across the grain on my neck, against the grain on my cheeks, and then right in through here, that's going to be against the grain on my neck as well.
Okay. Get that razor cleaned off and switch hands. Now we're switching that handle around a little bit. Now it looks like I hit a little bump right there. Let's put a little soap on that. It'll be all right. <laughs> no big deal. All right. Get that razor clean again. Now we are switching hands. We're going to do this other side. Okay. And guys, it's all about stretching as well. You gotta know which way your beard grows, stretch, uh, and just, just keep it the uh, skin taut. You don't wanna keep it so like a drum, you know, that'd be too tight, but it's gotta be taut. That way uh, you get the most comfortable shave. Nice. Okay. There you go. Pass two complete. Now, let's go ahead and get that cleaned off. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. I'm telling you guys. 
that just works for me. It really does. That is great, great shave. All right, so next up, we're going to do the half pass. All right, that's going to be my jawline and my neck. Just like we discussed in my complete shave video on that uh, third pass, guys. You know, you need to decide, do you even really need it? Or, uh, you know, is two passes good? Or, like with me, my cheeks are brilliant. And all I need to do is my jawline and my neck. That's it. Get that done and we're in business. I get BBS. It is nice. Okay. Now, so this is going to be a half pass for me. And that is going to be going to go against the grain on my jawline and my neck. Get that where we can see it. Yes, nice. Oh man. And I gotta tell you, I really, really enjoy this razor. You know, this is old school, right out of the middle of the 1800s. I've always wondered with razors like these, you know, what kind of gentleman had it originally? You know, this has survived this long and it still shaves. That's just so cool. At least to me, it really is cool. You know, when you think how old these blades are and how old the setup is, it's just amazing. All right, there you go. Another shave in the books, guys. Nice. Really enjoy it when you guys uh, are here with me. And we can shave together. 
Yeah, really good. All right, so now I wet my face. I put alum everywhere. We're going to tone up that skin. There we go, nice. And just dry that off like that. And here we go for our aftershave, Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel, guys. This is good stuff. I'm telling you, lemonade for the face right here. It is nice and refreshing. Mm, and what a wonderful scent. We're just going to put that everywhere. That's how much I like it. <laughs> Yeah, get that everywhere. Next, for our cologne, we are going to top this off with Florida water for cologne. All right, now this stuff does not take much. So we're just going to get a little bit. Mmm. What a wonderful smell. The scent on this is really nice. It really is. And I think it really complements the Arco as well. Now we are going to put on some Nivea Poche Balm. And I didn't show it to you for it before I put it in my hand. So that made it a little more difficult. <laughs> it's all right. And again, we're just taking care of that skin, guys. All right. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see episode one, how this shave began. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment. Share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.